Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat. In today's video, we're going to give you a complete overview on our knee mill product line. As you can tell, I'm standing in front of our K3 model right here, and I want to talk about a few different things. First of all, I want to talk about the iron, and then I also want to talk about the controls and some of the options and things like that. Uh, the K3 is the only model that we sell of this product. It's the most popular over the years, and we've been selling it for about 30 years or more. Okay. Uh, in case you don't know and you're new to us, we manufacture the entire CNC product right here in Los Angeles. However, our iron comes from partnerships that we've had for decades with different companies over in Taiwan. And the company that builds the knee mill product for us is somebody that we work with day in and day out. Our engineers go over there multiple times in a year and help them produce a great product that we can produce and give to you people here in the States and other places. So what makes it different, just so you know, is by sending our engineers over there, we have the ability to have a better control on the quality of the components that go inside of the product. And that's why it's been such a popular product for us over all these years. Now, as far as the product itself goes, it's a three horsepower motor. It has a 50 inch table that also has 32 inches by 16 inch travel in X and Y. You have an additional 16 inches in the knee and you have five inches in the quill. With the power feed system that's built into the ball screws and the motors, you have the ability to use it manually or use it under CNC power. What you're looking at right here is the KMX. It's also available in three axis, so you can get it either way. As far as the options on this particular machine goes, this one has electronic hand wheels. Normally you would have standard fold away hand wheels that are connected directly to the ball screws. But in this case, having the electronic hand wheels gives you a few extra features. The big one of course is the tracking option when you're in the run mode. Now it also has the halogen light on there as one of the options. Okay, but because this product was built for a certain customer and we just stole it for a minute to do this video, we don't have the rest of the options mounted on here. So let me just briefly go over them. You have the avail availability to have a power draw bar, which making tools change a lot quicker. Okay, you have a stop go switch, which puts a stop and go button in your hand. Okay, you have a power knee feed that's available to move the, the knee up and down. Um, we can put a fog buster spray cool system on here if you need. There's a chip pan that can go down at the bottom. There's a table guard that can mount on the table. And of course, um, we also have a few other options such as um, the ability to have offline programming. Okay, there's a lot of other options which we'll have listed. And last but not least, I do want to talk about the fact that you will see that when we add the third axis to the KMX, you'll actually see in the picture that it has a, a motor assembly and everything that's mounted to drive the quill up and down. And that gives you approximately four and a quarter inches worth of travel in the Z axis. So hopefully this gives you a pretty good idea on a start on what the control is about. As always, to learn more about this, I would suggest you talk to your local track rep. You can always reach out to one of us in uh, sales support here at the home office as well and check our website, which is trackmt.com. Thank you for watching. I'm Tracking Pat, and I'll see you in the next video.